Welcome to the video. In our last video, the potential of abacus built-in phone models and when or where to use them was discussed. In this session, we will focus on hyperphone model and following topics will be discussed. The theory behind the hyperphone model. How to define hyperphone model in abacus. How to specify hyperphone parameters. Which experimental tests are essential? And what elements can be used with hyperfoam? To define hyperfoam model, you must enter property module. Select create material icon. Then, select mechanical, elasticity, and hyperfoam. Remember, there is no need to define isotropic elasticity while using hyperfoam model. There are two ways for specifying the parameters of hyperfoam material. You specify the required parameters directly in this window. Or, you can enter test data in sub-options menu bar and allow the abacus to calculate the material parameters itself. If you toggle on this option, then you have to enter test data in sub-options. At first, we deal with first approach, which is directly specifying the parameters. So, we toggle off this option. What are the essential parameters of hyperfoam? In the hyperfoam model, the elastic behavior of foam is based on the strain energy function, where n, or the order of strain energy potential, is a material parameter. While other parameters are temperature-dependent material parameters, like mu, alpha, and nu. The maximum value of the coefficient n is 6. Here you can increase the order of strain energy potential from 1 to 6. The coefficient mu is related to the initial shear modulus. The coefficient nu is Poisson's ratio. Remember, to directly specifying the parameters, you must conduct curve fitting on your experimental test data and compute them. To specify material parameters that depend on temperature, toggle on Use Temperature Dependent Data. Then, a column labeled as Temp appears in the data table. Important note. Only when parameters are specified directly, the parameters can be defined as functions of temperature. Moduli timescale option is related to the hyperfoam behavior of a viscoelastic material. You can select whether to be long-term or instantaneous. If you want Abacus compute the hyperfoam parameters itself. At first, you must toggle on Use Test Data. Then, determine the order of strain energy potential. Indicate how you want to define Poisson effects. Toggle on Use Constant Poisson's Ratio. If you want to enter a Poisson's ratio that will remain constant throughout the calculations. Toggle off, use constant Poisson's ratio if you want Poisson effects defined from volumetric test data or lateral strains in other test data. To determine the hyperfoam material properties, you must use at least one and up to five of these options to give the experimental stress strain data. Uniaxial tension and compression. Equibiaxial tension and compression. Planar tension and compression, pure shear. Simple shear. Volumetric tension and compression. After entering experimental test data in sub-options menu, Abacus uses a technique based on least squares fit to the experimental data for computing the parameters. Important note. This method does not allow the properties to be temperature dependent. It is recommended to include data from the uniaxial, biaxial, and simple shear tests. The planar and volumetric tests are optional. How to recognize which test data is more vital for simulating the foam material in abacus? If compression dominates in the problem, the pertinent tests are uniaxial compression, simple shear, planar compression, volumetric compression, if tension dominates, the pertinent tests are uniaxial tension, simple shear, biaxial tension, planar tension. There are some important notes while entering experimental stress strain data. 
For all tests, the strain and stress data should be given as nominal values. The tests allow for both compression and tension data. Compressive stresses and strains should be entered as negative values. Only for the volumetric tests, the stress data must be given as pressure values. Measurement of the lateral strains may make other tests redundant, for example, providing lateral strains for a uniaxial test eliminates the need for a volumetric test. The hyperfoam model can be used with solid or continuum elements, finite strain shells, except S4, and membranes. In future videos, we will simulate foam response using hyperfoam model. Thanks for watching the video. If you are interested on simulating foam materials using Abacus software, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Don't forget to visit our site for more related products. Have a great time.